Welcome back to Better Minecraft! Last episode, we built the ultimate villager trading hall. However, I have a problem. I'm spending vast amounts of time in between episodes collecting resources. So, I've come up with a plan to build five automatic farms that will accelerate our progression whilst also revamping this boring area. I'm constantly running out of emeralds to trade. So, step one of our plan will be to build an iron farm. Now, iron is a big problem in this world, so right here is where we're going to put our iron farm. The only problem is we need to move the guys from over there into here. And we're just going to use ENXO4's basic iron farm. And because the land was ravaged by the winters, I've actually turned off the winterization mod for this because I just wasn't happy with it at all. It actually also just ruined all the land because it just took away all the grass and flowers and set across our lovely little bridge. You know what? It is nice just having these pathways in. And of course, I've not even touched these guys yet. Oh, I've been wanting to do this for ages. Is to go underneath our bridge as well. Oh, so nice. Now, I just need to do this two more times. Drop in. There we go. He's in. That means we just need to lure one more villager over. It's probably best to do this at night. Of course, there's going to be a creeper right there. Why wouldn't there be? Is he safe? He looks safe. Drop him in. Yes, there we go. Perfect. And if we place this down here, there we go. It's working. Nice. And then it was just a simple case of spawn proofing the iron golem area with path blocks all the way around. How have you spawned there? It's ridiculous. Get in. So I think I want to start with just covering this up with bricks. And then I want to make a sort of dark oak trim all the way around here and then we just want to run a nice and simple roof trim around this side here let's take a little step back yeah quite like that shape and then just here off the side i want to try and make a little place where we can go and access the iron quite nicely it is a very basic looking box but we can texture it up a little bit more but for now we have a functioning iron farm that we can just come and grab all our iron from. With step one complete now on our iron farm producing, it was time to tackle our next problem. Now that our iron farm is producing, I want to start working on the next project, which is sheep, which is animals. And right at the back here, don't look at the back of the build. It is done. What? It's not done. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. I've been keeping these sheep down here. Yes, I know you're trapped. You will have freedom. Uh, well, kind of. Soon enough. Let me um, let me go and set up a place for these guys. Now, I haven't quite set out the area or terraformed it. So what I might do here is I might... Okay, and if we go here, and we'll do every other two, and then expand it this way. On top of each log, we'll just add a slab just to prevent the sheep from being able to jump out. Nice. And then just some fences in between just to finish it all off. Let's just throw in a double gate there. Sweet. Anyway, sheep time. I could do the boring thing and go and get the sheep via wheat or we can do this. This, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Why is my backpack in my face? This is ridiculous. Plunk them down there. Thank you very much. Close that. Now, just to get the other two. And now I will never have to hear sheep underneath my house ever again. Awesome. Three sheep. But three sheep isn't anywhere near enough for an auto wool farm. So we only have five wheat to our name. And if we come down here with all this fully grown wheat, we can use Vein Miner and Fortune to just get absolutely everything we need. And oh my days, would you look at the amount of seeds we've just gotten from that? <laughs> That's ridiculous. We might as well start replanting as we go as well. Because we're going to need lots more wheat for all these projects. And we need to expand this wheat farm as well. Nice. Now we should be able to breed this one and where are you? This one. Nice. This one and this one as well. There we go. Sweet. Six sheep. But obviously, this isn't going to be the sheep farm. For that, we're going to need to build a barn. Because in the barn, we're just going to have some automation. Why don't we just put a time lapse on while I build this barn? Hey? Yeah. Okay. See you there.
that's looking pretty nice. I'm, uh, I'm a big fan. It's very simple. Need to add some leaves up here. It serves a big purpose. And inside, you'll notice that there's already some pens ready for some sheep to go in. So there are stalls all the way around for our sheep, which we still haven't fully bred up because I've been too busy building and we still only got six. However, I did notice something pretty cool that we could use. An animal feeding trough. Now, I don't know how, I don't know how this exactly works. I guess we just put wheat in there and then we'll lay uh, breed. Oh, look at that. They will breed as well. That is incredible. Oh, yes. Yes. Do you know what? Out of all the things in this mod pack, this is this might be my favorite thing of all time. Having the ability to auto breed sheep is just, well, any animal really, but that is, <laughs> that's made my day. Oh, I didn't show you the loft either. Got a few little different bits and bobs. We've got like this platform to bring like hay bales in from outside. This is the crane that we use. And then we've got this like line that runs down. And we've got a little bit of storage over here. Oh, we've got a bit of wheat there as well. And then we've just got a little platform up here as well. I quite like this, it's nice. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen this style before. I will drop a link down in the description to who gave me this design. I found this design on YouTube by the creator Trillums. Big thank you to them for creating this, I guess. Now, I just need to do this another 15 times. However, there is another caveat to this. We don't have enough quartz, so I've got to go to that nasty place again. Oh, what's that? the hell is this uh no thank you oh that's a brute uh no you can stay away i didn't even see him is that the only one i don't think there are it's like a little i don't know outpost or little camp look at this place it is insane i say we head off in that direction uh can we stand on that i guess so not gonna lie kind of scary can I see a bl I, I can see a blaze. We are far too close to lava for my liking. Ooh, I will take diamonds. Yes, please. Can we take it all? Yes, yes. 11. That should be more than enough, to be honest. But I wouldn't mind checking this out a little bit more. Whoa, what was that? Whoa! What just happened? Was it that? Oh, wow, it was that. That was crazy. <laughs> that was genuinely crazy. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, I can hear that horrible little gremlin right there. Die. Ugh. Those wither snakes are the worst things. Uh, what is going... Oh, let's know. What's going on with this? Oh, it's floating. Oh, I don't think that's meant to happen. Oh, oh, why is it fast? Why is it fast? What is it? Oh, die. Jungle skeleton. Oh, my. I've never been so scared in all my life. Oh, that was so fast. What was that? Oh, great. Look who it is. Oh, that just dropped a with it. And that, we've got three. We've got three. I have just realized <laughs> that this, this is, uh, this is now an entire stack of wheat used on these guys. That's great timing because these dispensers are all done. Auto shearing cells are all done. All that's left to do really is get our sheep in place. So maybe we can start bringing some of these guys over. We might, uh oh, no, 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 that's too many. That's too many. Let's drag some of you guys into the barn. I've done this. I, do you know what? I've forgotten. I forgot I can do this. This makes it so much easier. How have two gotten behind already? Okay, that should be all our sheep with shears in now. And if we check... Yes, look at that. It is flowing in. Tick this one off the list because it's time to move on to the next one. This area is looking a little bit worse for wear. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a little bit of time transforming this terrain into something a little bit more farm-like. I've laid out a couple of beds here for our crops. First one I want to do is rice. I believe we can just take this away, put in some water, 
all along and then I believe we can just plant these in like that in between these little beds as well I want to put some coarse dirt down just to, to give a more rustic feel to this area and actually because it is a cropped area you'd expect to have a little bit of coarse dirt down or dirt pathways in between your beds you wouldn't have like grass unless you were really manicure in your area but I don't really want to do that I just want to make I just want to have these pathways be coarse dirt I think it'd be a nice little contrast to the area and already you can tell that is looking a little bit better the next crop we're going to be growing is flax seeds and these just go on regular farmland don't worry i already thought about this and i believe we stick a bit of water in there we go and put a slab on top we've now got a waterlogged slab which you can just about see there and we can just till all our land and have hydrated land as well and again i'm just going to take our bow meal and grow this up and taking those extra seeds we now have our flax seed and our rice together that's a nice contrast the yellow and the blue for our third plot we're going to put in some cabbages and now we have our cabbages in the last one i want to do is on some tomato seeds and again we're just going to have to put in another little bit of <laughs> i wasn't expecting that ignore that and the last bit we have to do is add a bit more water this is looking nice i like this we've got our flax we've got our rice We've got our cabbage and we've got our tomatoes. You'll notice as well, I put a bag of rice out in front of it. I kind of want to do this with most of them if I can. There is one thing I want to do, which is add a bit of a retaining wall at the back here. And I think for just along the back here, I'm going to put some walls in just to kind of cap off this area to make it a bit more manicured. I know we weren't going to go for a full manicured type of garden look, but I think this will definitely help the area. And then just kind of along the top, I want to add in some fences and fence gates. I had no idea this was a thing. I'm instantly a huge fan. Okay, for our next section, I want this to be where our sugar cane grows, right along the back. So let's just fill this entire section in i think we might extend it a little bit further and then let's just grab our dirt and put it all the way through we should be able to plant our sugarcane in for our last little farm area we are going with a minecraft classic we need pumpkin and melon and we're going to do a kind of alternating pattern for this one and quite simply we are just going to alternate pumpkin and melon seeds all the way along here these stems look so much better i like how bushy they look and just to kind of finish this area off i want to add in just a load of storage randomly placed you know what this area is looking fantastic now i love it I like how we've got all the crops separated and it just looks so cozy. The next thing I want to tackle is a wood farm and that's just going to be right here. We use wood a lot in this world and it's quite frustrating to collect it at times, especially with all the drops that happen. In fact, let me show you my current setup for collecting wood. You see those four pods or spots over there? That's exactly where I'm growing the trees right now. It's not great to do. I did like the idea of collecting it in water, so I'm still going to use that type of concept. Oh, that block was placed by an enderman when this whole area was frozen over. Oh, we have guests. Look at these morons. So I've got a little bit of an idea of how I want to collect our wood, but I haven't really figured out how I want it to look. Why don't we take down this area here of all the trees? For our tree farm area, I think we're going to have to just take a little bit of this flat. And what we're going to need to do is mark out, hmm, I think we'll go from here. And then we need to do five in each direction. Just need to dig out this. And we want to take it down a layer as well. So now we have our floating platform. Oh, I need water. I always forget to bring water with me. Place one there. And then we just want to run some water all the way along the back here. And then take out this back layer as well now we have a kind of base for where we want to grow our trees all we're going to do now is put a double chest down the bottom here and put our hoppers straight into here all the way along i'm going to replace all of this edge with a stripped spruce log and then i just want to replace these walls with just normal planks i think that is starting to look a little bit better but i think we need to replace the floor with something as well i think for symmetry's sake as well i might just put like, two crafting tables in we're gonna need a trap door right here so we can access our wood and i think for the floor we'll just go with a classic oak plank 
And that is looking a lot better. But the last thing we need to do is add a way to get over there. So for that, I'm just going to use some very simple spruce slabs. I don't typically like floating things in Minecraft, but for this instance, I think I'll make a, an exception. I think as well, I'm just going to add some basic storage either side, just so we can access all our logs. And let's just box them in. And then I'm just going to bring a our path block all the way across and right out the front like this extend this out a little bit and i think what i want to do on top of these is i want to add fence gates in maybe add a trap door here and over here just to connect them in let's do the same on this one and then it's just a case of just growing our trees and chopping them all down so a lot of it will land on the dirt but a lot of it will also go into our chests as well and it works for all of our wood types so we need birch and this is the one it really comes into its own with because the two by two trees are so tall a lot of the time they just the drops spread absolutely everywhere so it's so handy just to have them fall into our chest at the back and obviously it's nice and easy for us oh this one's so big that we can't do it when we get these ones we just keep chopping away eventually there we go they will fall down so we have one sapling that's just about made it over there but i'm not too worried about that this mod pack has the auto sort feature as well so it's nice and easy to see how much you've actually got in here and i'd like some cherry wood i think and of course this thing drops so many saplings but as it stands right now, it looks a little bit boring. So I'm just going to add, to signify this area, I think I'm going to grab a bunch of oak saplings and just bring them all the way around. Yes, it's time to just try and grow all these trees now. Of course, it starts raining. And there we go. We have our surrounding. I wish this rain would go away. What I might do is, though, right here, just take some of this back so we've got a little bit more space, especially here, just to, so we can get into our storage area as well. Now, I'm missing some lighting. Let's just take a couple of lampposts around as well maybe we'll hang a light off that and then let's just make some space to hang a light off there now that that's looking good however we haven't got our item frames and that is such an easy problem to solve because all we need are cows and we haven't actually got cows in our farm yet make sure to connect our pathways up as well because we don't want to miss out there oh look at all of our crops growing there as well that's looking fantastic i want to just check on our sheep as well we are getting plenty of wool here i was originally going to use this area as a too tall flower farm but but i've got a better idea we could do with honeycomb and honey so i think it's time to get some beehives in here and again i'm using another design by trillums Right, well, we have our basic bee farm set up. Now, I will probably enclose this in a greenhouse as well. But for now, let's go and find some beehives. Now, I do know there are... There is a beehive around here. Don't know if there's any bees, though. <gasps> I see a bee. I see a single bee. Oh, I see two bees. Where is your home? Where's it going? Oh, it's here. Oh, it's right here. And now we wait... There's three bees. I've forgotten how to do this. Wait, if we do this, they should be blocked in, right? Don't want them to go anywhere. So, if we put silk touch pickaxe, if we put our bees in here and in here, there's three in there and there's zero in there. Okay, that's fine. What we can do for now, hang on, if we put some shears in, do we then get... Yes, we get the honeycomb. We do get the honeycomb out as well. So that's pretty good. Oh, we've got our bees. Nice. Uh, okay, I want to breed them. So let's go in here. So if we give you some flowers. Yes, we've got a little bee. Nice. Nice. We've now got a decent amount of bees. Before I forget as well, I would like to make sure that we know what color sheep is which. And I'm just going to stick these item frames right on the bottom so we know which one has which die. With our bee farm fully functional now, I've actually put three beehives in as well. Uh, I do need to do the interior a little bit. And we should have, yes, there we go. We've got some honeycomb being produced. I also added in this little area at the back here. It's more for decoration than anything. But a few beehives around 
around the back. Looks pretty cool. Now, you'll notice that I've got gunpowder in my hands. And I've actually been collecting a little bit of sugar cane. So let's go and grab this. And we are going to turn it into paper. And we're going to turn this into rockets. Because we're about to go on an adventure. And I'm sure you can fully guess where we're headed with some of the items in my inventory. Now, where would be the best place to do this? Maybe up here. I'm kind of nervous about this. Okay. Which way are we going? I also realized I left my... <laughs> I left my horse somewhere in episode two. I think I left it back at one of the ruins. So we're going to have to go and find out which one it was. I've got a sneaky suspicion it was in the first one we went to. I'm excited to see the stronghold as well because I haven't actually seen what these things look like. I do know that they have been upgraded. But I haven't really fully seen how they've been upgraded. Now, I'm kind of worried because I don't know what those animals are in the sea. I wonder if it's on this landmass. I wonder if there's, like, anything on the surface for the stronghold. That would be cool if there was. It might be... I think it's below us. Oh! Oh, I think we've hit starter. Wait, where have we dropped in here? Oh, dude, this is insane. We've actually dropped in in, like, a hall. What was that? Oh, what? This is insane. What am I stood? Oh, they are these, like, dragon heads? Okay, I'm going to drop into here. Wow, look at this. I'm going to... Steal a lantern. Is that a full spawner there? That's crazy. Oh, I can hear a lot of zombies somewhere. Oh, wow. Look at the library. Oh, now this is a proper library. <laughs> this is a proper library. Dude, this is insane to try and navigate. Vein mining, blast protection. Are there any more chests nearby? Wow. Should we light it? You know what? We are going to light it. Dude, that's so cool. Having like a place for a nether portal. Oh, it's like a treasures room. Look at all the like diamonds and stuff. Dude, this is so cool. I'm going to keep this room as it is. Holy diamonds. This is it. No way. This is the... Silverfish no more. Thank you. Dude. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. Look how good this is. This is a proper room. Oh, dude, this is so scary. Okay. We're here. We made it. I guess it's uh, it's time to fight the dragon. Dude, we need to we need to escape out of here. Oh, what is that noise? Dude. Look at this. Oh, it's like a temple. Oh, wow. Look at these. Look at these obsidian statues. Holy host. Whoa, what is going on with these? Oh, they're fracturing. In. Wow. Now that's how I... <laughs> That's how an end fight should start. Oh, that one's in a cage. How do I get that? Oh, it's right up. It's right next to me. Oh. That was pointless. I see it's putting us, put us in a better spot here. Wait, can we throw bombs? There we go. Yes. Come on. Please, please, please. Here we go. That's it. Yes. We've done it. <laughs> yes. Get in. Whoa. Oh, damn. The whole stairway went. Okay. How do we get this now? Have I got anything? Yeah, I've got a torch. Perfect. Time to get our elytra. What's this? Wait. Too Why is there spiders in the end, man? No, thanks. I am just here for one thing and one thing only. Wow. This place is teeming with mobs. Wait, wait, wait. What are you? Ender whale. <gasps> you can ride it. This is so... Nice. Whoa. You don't look friendly. 
<laughs> you are definitely not friendly. Uh, no, we aren't messing with you, mate. That looks like a structure of some sort. Oh my gosh, there's more. I don't care what it is. I'm getting... Oh my god, I'm getting chased. This looks like a ship. Oh, and the chest. Nice. <laughs> Dude, how sick is this ship? The better end mod is actually insane how cool it is. That looks like a structure there. Is that a ship? No shot. That is an end ship on its side. End city map. Hello? We have to go south. Dude. Oh my days. Wow. That is such a cool feature. Taking the crashed overworld shipwrecks and turn them into end. Oh, mate. I'm a fan of that. I love that idea. We're nearly there. No, we are there. Dude, look at that end city, man. That's insane. Is there a ship? There's a ship. What is that? Is that a shulk of... That's a shulker spawner, I swear. Okay, I want to grab these shulker shells. Oh, that looks really far away. Can we make that? Surely we can. We did. We're in. Is there anything... Oh, there it is. Uh, no, we don't want shulkers. Oh, there they are. Yes. Okay, before we do absolutely anything, stick these bad boys on. Oh, yes, there we go. Oh, boy. We have freedom to move. We can just fly. We can fly. We are in the air. Dude, here comes the end island as well. What an amazing dimension this has been. I've had enough. We are headed back. We should be able to check out our farm. Look at that. It is looking absolutely incredible. Well, that's all I've got time for for today. What an incredible episode. We got so much done. The farms are completed, and we even got our elytra. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.